Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, subscribe up above at the easy to use widget at the end of the video or down below right now. This is going to be a quick reaction to the Von Miller trade where they got a second and a third in the 22 draft. The Denver Broncos did for Von Miller, who in over 300 snaps this year has rushed less, has rushed 120 times for a total of four and a half sacks. Excuse me, my throat and everything is not the best right now. But you add him to a defense with Leonard Floyd, Aaron Donald, and Jalen Ramsey, a defense that if you just look at them by the numbers, hasn't been as impressive as you would expect, but the most points they allowed was 24 tied when it came to playing the Colts, and that was when Carson Wentz was actually really on his game early in the season, and then 24 against a Buccaneers team, that is a very good productive Offense, of course, and then they beat the Texans 38-22 to this past week in a bigger scoring tilt. But <clears throat> what getting uh, Miller for the Rams does, it definitely strengthens their defense. It's just, is this a trade where the team, you see other teams giving up more later round picks for guys that are name brand, that are not as good as they once were? They went all in and gave up a second and a third because the Rams want to get to that Super Bowl and get to that promised land this year. Is this going to do it for them? That still remains to be seen. But as a whole, I do think Mike Tannenbaum really knocked uh, Von Miller when he came to saying he doesn't have a lot left uh, when he was on this just in with Max Kellerman. I feel like he still has more left than people think. He's not going to be what Von Miller once was, but you got Aaron Donald there. You got Leonard Floyd there. You got guys that are going to distract the defense, not just him. And I assume his rushing will go up a little bit more rather than just the percentage it's at now, which is one of the lowest or the lowest in his career when it came to being rushing in over 300 attempts, only really rushing the quarterback 120 times. But he has four and a half sacks, which is good. Um, percentage-wise when it comes to that little amount of rush attempt. I think this is definitely a trade that further supplants the Rams as being now one of the top two contenders. But when it comes to being the best Super Bowl contender, I mean, if you just look at the NFC, we have a team in their division. They're more raw, but they're very good at 7-1 and one. Arizona. You have the Green Bay Packers who have a lot of experience, especially via Aaron Rodgers when it comes to the postseason. You have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who have Tom Brady, of course, and you and have a great overall team. And then as much as I hate to say it, Dallas has been good this year. And then um, when you look at the AFC, you, of course, have now the Titans have a big injury, so that's going to be an issue for them. So you really mainly out there, I would say, have the – Bills, and you have the Ravens, and then depending upon what the Titans can do in response to losing Derrick Henry, they might still be in there. But the NFC is the bigger kahuna this year when it comes to competition. you got to be able to get through Dallas, Green Bay, or also your own division foe, the Arizona Cardinals, and Tampa Bay Buccaneers to be able to win the Super Bowl. So the Rams made, in my opinion, a smart high-risk reward move because you gave up a second and a third for a guy that isn't the same as he used to be but still is a hell of a player when used correctly and put in the right spots to do what he does best especially at this point of his career because he's not the same finesse rusher and can just beat you with his moves as he once was but that's because he's now in his 30s compared to being in his peak prime but Von Miller's still going to get to your damn quarterback if you put him in the right spot so I would say this move in my opinion, puts them as either the top contender on paper right now or the second best contender in the NFC. And I would say that swings between now, after they had a loss to the Saints, that swings between the Packers and them at this point. Because when you got that mad, bad man Aaron Rodgers, that's going to make me have a lot of confidence in you. Where Tampa, of course, um, Tom Brady admitted to it, but he can't throw that pick there. They showed flaws in that Saints game, losing to a Saints team they really shouldn't have lost to. So I would say this trade puts them in a good spot. I'm not ready to say the Rams are the best Super Bowl contender now because of it, but having him back there with Floyd, you have obviously Aaron Donald. It adds another degree to the defense. Let's see them go out there and play with this new team and see how they do integrating Von Miller, which unless if you're stupid, you should be able to use them correctly, but we still got to see it on the field to believe it. 
and then I'll make a prediction where the Rams are actually going to go in a later video. But this has been a reaction to the Von Miller trade, that they got a second and a third, the Broncos did, and of course the Rams got Von Miller, that bad man that can still rush the quarterback, but obviously isn't the same guy he used to be, so you're going to have to scheme him right, which is going to be interesting to see how the Rams do, excuse me, since he's been with those Broncos his entire career. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and congratulations on the great season this far, Rams fans.